everyone and welcome back to Zoodessia Zoo! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are here at my home looking at my little herb garden actually and oh my gosh it's so cool because every single time I come back lately the gardens are grown which means people have been poking around nearby maybe over at Zomberry Village. I know that actually uh, Ben and Mara if you follow their Twitters have been finding unexpected friends. Oh hey Carlos! How are you doing? Oh I heard our unexpected friend. All right, oh, 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 I see his legs. So check this out, I have a buddy here. I wanna catch him. <gasps> Actually, I should catch him, darling. I'm gonna catch him and he's going to be our buddy and I'm gonna see if we can put him somewhere so he can hang out. <gasps> Are you here for the new position of one of our new lab assistants, sir? I know you're very shy, so I won't look you directly in the face, but I, I will accept your application. Wink. In fact, oop, oop, oop. No, in you go. <laughs> He got a little bit upset because I tried to steal a peek at him, but I have put him into the safari net and he's safe. So I think we'll talk with him about his issues uh, with feeling very shy and keep him as a lab assistant. So I'm really looking forward to that. That should be awesome. Also, good morning, darling. Mwah. Martha, how you doing? Seems to be doing well. Got some Martha eggs going on in there. But yes, yeah, so hello everyone. Oh my goodness. So yesterday we had a lot of fun building Carlos. I'm still so excited you're, welcome. you're in the family, Carlos. You are welcome to eat from our, our little fruit bowl right here, if you so desire. Uh, I've got plenty of fruit out in the garden, too. All right. But yes, so we spent yesterday trying to get our armor fixed up through the dishwasher. And unfortunately, it's not working. But you guys let me know, thank you so much, by the way, that there's ways you can edit the config to hopefully be able to have the washer work with modded items. So I will be working with that in the future. But until then, what remains of my steel leaf armor is going to stay in here where it will be nice and safe. And we have new armor. I don't like the diamond armor as much because it's not leaf. But we do have new armor, and today I think we might try enchanting it, but I want to go and check on the wolves primarily. So we're going to go check on the wolves first, because apparently Ben has done something special with our wolves, and I have built a path down there. Look, you can kind of see the little path over there. I finally started to build the paths around our zoo. You can sort of see them on the map. Oh, that's so much fun. I love being able to have proper paths to get everywhere. Let me check on the dogs real quick, too. All right, everybody doing okay? Yeah? All right, everybody looks all right. I was told if I take this rotten flesh, I know, here you go. Everybody wants some zombie jerky. Everybody wants, oh, look, our, our little Yuzu. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Yuzu. Yuzu is growing back in. Everybody wants some zombie jerky, jerky. Everybody wants some zombie jerky. Hungry puppies want zombie jerky. All right, so let's come down here. Some for you, some for you. And we've got our three little ones over here. Hi, guys. Are you having fun? Do you guys want to... Oops, sorry, Tate. Tate, you go ahead and stay... Ah, are you guys eating the rotten flesh? They might be eating the rotten flesh out of the food bowl. That would be amazing if they're eating the rotten flesh out of the food bowl. Let me check. Because this is the one... Eh, open up. Mm, maybe. I can't really tell. This is the one I shoved so much of it into. I guess... Whoa! Okay, there we go. Hey, hey, hey. What? What? Food bowl, give me back the rotten flesh. Is it lagging, Pine? That's just, that's not polite. That's not a very polite food bowl, huh? It stole the, it stole the flesh back. Well, that's not gonna help me whatsoever. Ah, there we go again. All right, I'm stealing it from you, food bowl. Food bowl, you are like being naughty right now. All right, hang on puppies, but you guys have told me if I put the rotten flesh into our freezer, then something might happen. So let me see. Here's the freezer. Whew. All right, so some time later, sorry about that guys, I had to restart the server and then everything just went a little bit kooky, but we are back on track. And look at that, Carlos is actually a Carlotta, for Carlos has laid an egg to add to our dodo egg pile. <gasps> Darling, there's an egg in here too. Thank you so much, Martha. I'm so excited. We're slowly but surely building up a stock of eggs, a little, oh, imagine how cute that would be to make a little egg carton chest and take it over to Anasia's place, wherever her place may be. In fact, she might have uh, darling, hang on a second. I want to go and check over at Anasia's place to see if she actually has... What's this? P.S. Enjoy the free new safari net. Oh? New arrival. Oh! It's a villager named Matt! Oh my gosh! 
Thank you so much, Alex. This is so awesome. Oh my goodness. So Alex has brought us a new arrival. Look at this. Dear Siri, I found yet another zombie villager lurking in a cave near my base, just opposite the flower field. So we were by Alex's house. Oh, that's so exciting. I've saved you the trouble of curing him, but if you could find him a place to stay, it would be much appreciated. From Alex. <gasps> We have a little villager and his name is Matt and two pieces of glowstone. That is awesome. Oh my goodness. So let's go. And by the way, I changed my teleportation stone to be a teleportation chameleon. Isn't it the cutest thing? I love how everybody else had the idea of using like really unique mobs for our teleportation crystals. And I love that we have a teleportation chameleon now. Also, oh, Alex's swamp is now hooked up. Anasia's haven is hooked up. And Nirne's tropical paradise is now hooked up. <gasps> It is so much fun to have a bazillion other people to visit. Oh, we need to do gift days. We might have to do gift side quests pretty soon. But let us add a mat to the growing number. There's a lot of villagers here now, and most of them don't have names. So let's add Matt to the growing number of villagers. Matt, you are a priest. Hello, Matt the priest. <gasps> and you gave glowstone. Matt, I love you. Oh my gosh, that's going to make life so much easier just to be able to get glowstone from Matt now. All right, and let's see. I kind of want to put the glowstone somewhere. Hmm. Like here. It'd kind of be cool to have glowstone in the walls a little bit. But it might look weird, too. Hmm. Hmm. Matt, which house do you want to claim as your own? This one? It's a very nice house. This house usually belongs to the farmers, though. We need to build Matt. We might need to expand our village a little bit and build Matt like a, a little church of light. And the other priestesses, too, of course. Or priest and priestesses, I should say. Oh, so that's so exciting. Oh, more presents. More presents from our awesome friends. I have to have some side quest days where we can pause on exhibits uh, and just as extra things, gather presents for our friends. Little teleportation chameleon. All right, so let's pop back over here. So we know the teleportation device is hooked up. Blech, that's a mouthful. And... We now have presents from Alex, again, who's amazing. We need to deliver some presents to him in return. Maybe something from the garden? Hmm. 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 We might work on that. All right. Oh, I'm just going to come in here. There's red. Everybody's laying eggs. Oh, I love our, our home. I could just spend forever taking care of our animals. But that is what we're doing right now, is actually trying to take care of our dogs. Pine? Pine! Pine, what are you doing? Pine! Oh, poor puppy, hang on. Here, come sit here and you should recover. Oh, poor puppy. Whoop, there we go. Sorry about that. Then, then somebody knocked on the door. Today is a very busy day. A very busy day indeed. Also, if the episodes are a little bit late, my friends, I apologize. YouTube is not letting a lot of the creators get their uploads out, and it's very frustrating. And I'm getting ready to move! Keep an eye out for the July uh, channel update episode, which will be coming out today. But enough about that nonsense. Oh my gosh, just trying to get one thing done for the day is like pulling teeth, it seems. So what we're trying to do is turn this rotten flesh into flesh and to fuel the freezer it turns out that we need freezer packs pretty sure something like is that it no that's not it uh ice packs i think i know to fuel the freezer we need like ice are they called ice packs ice packs Ooh, ice bomb ice bow ice sword how the heck do you make an ice bomb oh those sound amazing we might have to figure out a way to get those. Those just sound so cool. Let's see. Here's an ice spell. Triceratops. And juice block stones. Let's see. Here's juice stone. Juicers. Hmm. I know we need to fuel the freezer somehow. And I know to get, like, the rotten flesh, if we put it on a food plate, we get leather. And if we put it into... I know it will work if we just fuel the freezer with ice pack pack. Maybe if we search pack, it'll give us the answer. Ah, there it is, there it is, there it is. The cooling pack, there we go. So we need to make some cooling packs really quickly out of water buckets and glass. And then putting them in the freezer should give us flesh. And from the flesh, we'll be able to start the cycle of things that we need to do in order to make the rotten flesh into flesh. In fact, let's see if I can do that. Whoops, ah, there, jeez, talk about lag. Chester, you okay? Come on, don't be, don't be so silly about this. There we go. 
All right, so I'm gonna have to get rid of this lava. No, I, I think I have more, more buckets we can use. So there we go. Um, and what is in? What? I don't have any spare buckets. That is just ridiculous. All right. Well, let's check this again. I do have some iron ingots. And I do have one spare iron ingot in here. And actually, do I have any buckets in the kitchen? Buckets? I do have buckets in the kitchen. <gasps> Look at how smart we've been. All right. We can fill these buckets up with water from the sink. And then we come over here and we can create <gasps> cooling packs. Yes. And you get the water bucket back. Oh, let's make a whole bunch of them real quick. There we go. So there's eight cooling packs. And then let's see. Aim carefully. Plant, I love you, but you're kind of in the way for being able to get water from you, huh? That's a little frustrating. All right. Ah, oh, dang it. Hang on, guys. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's caught up with us. It caught up with us. It's caught up. Let's put these cooling packs in here. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Okay, so it's taking the rotten flesh. Dun, 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 dun. Flesh! All right, what do we do with you, you nasty flesh thing? So it's no longer rotten flesh, and we can make it into cooked flesh, but will the dogs eat it? If I cook this flesh, I was hoping it would become pork, and it didn't become pork. It would have been amazing if it had become pork chops. A little bit creepy, though, because I guess you get the rotten flesh from uh, zombies. Ah, that's okay. So we're still far away from being able to have, like, a reliable, renewable source of food for the dogs. But, come on. Come on. I know you're almost there. Let's go see if they'll at least eat this flesh. Though, I don't know if it's worth all the work. <laughs> oh, I don't know if it's worth all the work since it's not, like, flesh that they normally could eat. But at least we tried it out, yeah? Alright, Alia, will you eat it? Nope, and Alia can't even eat it. Oh, well. At least we have it for maybe other purposes. Can we use cooked flesh for anything? I guess for, for feeding two things. So let's yank this out. We've learned a new way to feed things, at least. And I'm pretty sure we can put uh, water buckets inside of the freezer. And the cooling packs will actually turn it into ice. So let's see if that works. All right, come on. We have to go check on the wolves and everything still. Yeah, look at that. Ice. Not bad. Not bad. So I'll set those up. Um, I guess I'm just going to put the flesh and the cooked flesh in the fridge for now. I'm sure that's a normal spot. Normal thing that everyone has in their kitchen is just a bunch of, like, random cooked flesh from zombies. Yeah, I'm sure that's normal. Oh, dear. All right, let's go pop into bed real quick. I can't believe we got an Enderman assistant today, too. I wonder what he should help us with. All right, we've got some eggs everywhere. Gonna close the doors. All right, put the dodo eggs away. And let's go upstairs and take a quick snooze. Hello, darling. I love how he comes up to the balcony, like, all the time. All right. Do, do, do. There we go. There we go. And don't worry about the game modes, guys. That was me trying to fix the server lag. <laughs> it's helped a little bit. It's helped a little bit. All right, I'm going to open the back door again. Everybody's okay. Good. All right, well, enough of that. So we still haven't fu like figured out quite what we're going to do when it comes to the problem of having enough food for the dogs, other than endless amounts of zombie jerky. Now, what I do want to do now is go and make a hopper. And I want to put this hopper, which I hope is like this. I'm trying to remember. That's still chest plate. What is hopper? But I'm hoping we can set up... Ah, that's right, that's Hopper. Look at that! Yay, thanks to Alex, we have all the pieces we need, too. I'm hoping we can set up, um, like, a Hopper under one of the... under one of the, um, animal traps. And then be able just to have a constant supply of food coming in that way. So, we'll go down and visit the wolves. Hey, now. We'll go down and visit the wolves and see how they're doing. Mm -hmm. And while we're down there, we'll try setting up this little hopper trap. Now, what should be interesting, hmm, I think we might try carpenter, a carpenter's hatch, okay, to go over the top to kind of hide where the hopper is. All right, yeah, we already have some carpenter's hatches, so I'm going to take this. And then maybe a ladder? Do I need a ladder? A ladder might be a good idea. All right, let's see. Ladder is just a bunch of sticks carefully put together. So we'll take a bunch of sticks and come over here. 
And whoops. <laughs> there we go. Bunch of sticks in a little H. And we'll put the ladder down there. But all right, so let's go down and check in on our red wolves and see how they're doing. And we will see what has been going on with our path, our new path that we now have built. Hello, Sunflower. Hello, Esther Seed. I know I need to give you two some love soon, too. Just so much to do in the zoo all the time. So much to do in the zoo. All right. Mushrooms! <laughs> That's hilarious. Now that we've taken away so many of the trees that kind of barricaded them into that jungle, a whole bunch of mushrooms have started wandering over this direction, which I love. Hello, little guys. And here's our new path. So this is now the new path. Oh, and by the way, I still have the uh, the poet or poke and jay it pigs from our time shot episode. <laughs> I didn't want to take it out yet, so we still have poke and jay it pigs running around everywhere. But yeah, this is the new path. It takes us over to this cool cave. I think this will be the in one of the entrances to kind of like the cave exhibits. So we'll work on uh, like pecking away at the stone yeah it's gonna take a little bit to peck away at the stone and put like some gentle slopes or stairs stairs is probably safer with a, a like steep steep slope like this we'll put some stairs down there and some little information like welcome to the cave exhibit here are some animals you may see for going down there and we'll have some of our cave animals down there and then this is it i wanted it to curve kind of close to the lake oh what's that oh it's just a wild boar i was like what's in our lake it's just a wild boar nothing to write home about at least at least not at this moment but yeah the path comes down here pops over to our beautiful water lily lake and then leads over here so it comes all the way up and goes by where meadow and redwood are hiding <gasps> did you guys hear that the wolves howl now oh my gosh that's amazing Oh, Meadow, that's beautiful. I wish I had some food to give you. Also, why does this chest keep popping into my hand? It is the silliest thing. But yes, so that is so cool. Meadow and Redwood are now howling their little hearts out, which is so amazing. We're going to gather up these um, fruits and veggies so that we can kind of poke back the gardens that are growing everywhere. Come here. And also hopefully make some food for them in just a second. All right, so let me get this out of the way. Hi guys, they really are just howling nonstop. That is so cool. Oh, Meadow, that's so pretty. All right, so we need to kind of clean up the gardens that we've let grow wild in their yard. Just a few of them. Nice, this should hopefully give us enough food to be able to set some bait traps too. All right, where's Redwood? I see Meadow. Redwood likes to kind of hide up by where the, the den is or up here. He doesn't really go by the water anymore, but he should be roaming around here somewhere. So, Red Redwood! Oh my gosh, look at all these! Kind of need to peck back their gardens. They're definitely spreading really quickly. Alright, need a little more space for more gardens. Didn't I just stick something? There we go. This is the one I was sticking everything in. Clipboard. Um, eggs can go in there. There we go. Alright, good. Good. Leafy gardens are growing well. We need a little bit of everything so that we'll be able to feed the dogs in just a bit. Uh, the yutsu can go away. I guess the sticks can go away for now. And the armor. I guess I could put the armor on, but I just don't like diamond armor. I like my leaf armor. That's the truth of it. Alright, I'm not seeing him yet, but I am finding a lot of the, the food that we'll need to make bait items. Alright, there we go. Redwood! Where are you, buddy? Still don't see him. Not too worried. He's very good at hiding. Alright, let's see. I'm really... I guess I'll just put the food items in here for now. Yeah, he's very good at hiding, so I'm not worried. And it is kind of fun to be able to come into their exhibit and, like, clear away all of this extra growth. Let's see. There we go. Just because the gardens spread on their own over time. Alright, I missed something. That's an edible root down there. Maybe the wolves will want to chew on that. Just just to keep their teeth busy. Alright. Oh, there's Redwood. No, that's Meadow. Hey, yo, Meadow. Oh, that's the prettiest towel. Redwood! Seriously? Ugh. I'll work on him. He's not supposed to be going in the water, but I'll work on him to avoid the water again. But alright, so next up, we need to make a whole bunch of food items. 
Let's see, the veggie food should work. Come here. Yeah, for veggie bait. All right, let's make a ton of veggie bait. And then we're going to set up this hopper under one of the animal traps because this will give us food for the wolves as well as food for uh, several of the other. Okay, none of the herbs are gonna work. I don't think any of the mushrooms will work either. Nope. As well as food for our dogs and many, many of the other animals that we're gonna be adding to the zoo. And then tomorrow we're gonna pretty much stay entirely over. Oh no, I'm out of string. Oh no. All right, well, we're gonna have to just fill this up for now. We'll be back, we'll be back, little thing. I guess I should fill it up over here. But yeah, tomorrow we're gonna pretty much stay over entirely in the um, fungi forest area and work with those guys instead of run around and do random things. Sorry guys, it's so like much to do all the time. It can be a little overwhelming. Oh yeah, our compost bin. Oh, I love how we're actually getting set up in certain areas. All right, and you know what? I'm just gonna use this hopper, this spot right here. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to put the chest right here, and we're going to put the hopper right here. What? Hopper, don't be silly. Hopper goes right here. Hopper? What? What nonsense is this? I wonder if you can't stick a hopper under the bottom of this thing. Oh my gosh, it's so full of food! See, this is why we need a, a nice little hopper system so they can empty this thing out and get more food for all the animals. All right, let's try again. Hopper. Oh my gosh, I think we may have just found something that cannot be done. Eh? Eh? All right, hang on a second, guys. All right, and we got it to work. I just had to restart the server yet again. I'm so sorry about that. It's so annoying. But I have good news and bad news. It works. The system works. We get things from the animal trap. It comes through the hopper and into the chest. The bad news. The things that come out are actually the grain items. <laughs> so we can't seem to prevent the grain items from coming out. And for some reason, they're not going down into the chest at the moment. So that sort of sucks. So that unfortunately won't work unless, I wonder, yeah, I, I, this just won't work. Ugh. It seems like lately all of the little experiments and everything that we're trying just won't work. And it's not that discouraging. Discouraging is the wrong word. We're experimenting. We need to be, we need to be conscientious experimenters and you never know until you try. So long story short, we can still get animal food. We just have to manually empty it from, let's see, can I get out of here? And then, and then, there we go. And there we go. We just have to manually empty any of the animal traps that we put out. So that little experiment didn't work. The good news is the red wolves do now have the ability to howl. And we're just gonna have to remember to constantly come by and check all of the, <laughs> the spots. Look at all these feathers. All the spots where we have animal traps. And otherwise, we are ready. Enough adventuring. We're still going to have to take a long time before we're able to work with Junior. Unfortunately, it's going to be a very long time before um, we're, we're going to be able to go into the catacombs with Ben and do the fighting that we're going to need to be able to get to Junior. So that's going to take a while. But we're going to use that time wisely. And tomorrow, we are going to actually finally, finally get back into building for our little Confucius bird. So we're going to go and wander into the fungi forest. We're going to start mapping out where its exhibit is going to be, putting down items for, for its exhibit, and doing the research that we need to find out exactly what its environment would have been like and what we need to put in there to stimulate its natural environment, or simulate, I should say. It's been a long day. It's natural environment as much as possible. So sorry for all the silliness. At least we have a whole bunch of fish that I can take to our dogs. And we have a path now. We have a path. We have redwood and meadow howling. We have a enderman assistant. And we figured out, whoops, there we go. Yeah, lots of lag today. And we figured out how to use the freezer. So there's positive perks all over the place. And I will see you guys bright and early tomorrow. Bye-bye.